both damaged like hair. hair. And just to let you guys know, you may see both my kids today in this video. For now, Loretta. But we'll see if Jonah wakes up from his nap. So anyways, let's get started. I generally like using more um, products that are doesn't have to be entirely sulfate free but something that has less sulfates in it. The reason why I find it's better to use less sulfates is because sulfates are pretty much um, an affordable detergent that they put in shampoos. Hi baby! Um, she's my cousin girl right now. <laughs> um, that are affordable detergents that they put into shampoos, uh, deodorant, they put it in um, skincare, a lot of things. So pretty much the detergent when there's so much um, sulfates, so I just want to take out the price tag because um, it kind of looks tacky on there. But um, the reason why they put these detergents is because it's affordable and they lather, they help um, the shampoo lather. But the thing is, it fades the hair. So too much of the sulfate will fade the hair and will actually break the hair. So you might see like a nice, good shampoo from the drugstore that's really cheap. But um, in the end, because there's so much sulfate, it actually breaks the hair and it actually um, fades the hair. So just remember that. So the less sulfate, the better. Or if you can't sulfate-free, sulfate free, that's even better too. Also, uh, this one has quinoa in it. Not sure what the quinoa does, but you know, quinoa is a protein. So protein is good. And when you're coloring your hair and you're doing any chemical services, this will put the protein back into the hair. But I'm sure it does more than that because I know that has some omega in it. So the omega has fats and the fats will also help hydrate your hair. So that's just what I think just from my experience being a hairstylist. So that's number one. Number one on my list uh, for products, uh, shampoo. So I recommend every two to three months, I recommend for my clients to trim their hair. And it doesn't have to be a huge trim. It doesn't have to be an actual haircut. Um, generally, the lingo for hairstylists is dusting. So dusting is pretty much cutting even just like a millimeter, two millimeters, even, you know, just like a quarter of an inch off your hair. It doesn't have to be a huge haircut. Actually, a little goes a long way. So I always tell them less is more um, every two to three months. That way, uh, you're cutting less, but you're actually um, you're actually gaining um, more healthy hair rather than growing out stringy uh, split ends. If that makes any sense. When I'm doing colors for my clients, I always recommend a home care product. I never let them leave my chair without using a home care product. If they're not, especially if they're not getting a trim, so. You can't expect your hair, if you're coming from uh, you know, black hair and you're going to a beach blonde hair, you can't expect for your hair to stay healthy on its own. You're going to have to help your hair and nourish your hair. So I like using, because my hair is pretty light, um, my hair is naturally dark brown. Um, I use the macadam macadamia um, natural oil mask. I got it for $27 at the salon. It may sound like a lot, you might even find it a lot more cheaper at another salon, but I got for $27, it actually went up um, where I got it. But pretty much, uh, you, you only use it once to twice a week, and you leave it in your hair for 7 minutes after you shampoo your hair. And I love this product just because it's very rich and very concentrated, so it's very thick. So if I turn upside down, it's not leaving the jar. And the smell is nice and fruity and very, very fresh, so it leaves a very nice scent in your hair after you rinse it. So that's one of my other products, and it goes into pretty much almost the cortex of the hair, so that's the center of the hair. Um, it really penetrates through, and it just helps nourish it, and it helps mimic the natural oils that um, your hair produces, or your, sorry, your scalp produces. Um, Another thing I liked about this is filled with omega 3, 5, and 7. So again, good fatty, um, good fatty acids that are great for the hair and help nourish it, and then just put the protein back that your hair has lost. On um, the first thing I asked my client if they are wanting a color, what is your hair history? The reason why I asked this is because a lot of people use box dye. Um, they are getting smarter with the box dye nowadays. Like they're, uh, they have less. Um, ammonia and less chemicals which is great but after they get their color I always recommend home care um, so 
uh, home care that I like that I've tried in the salon that now I take home is this AG Keratin Repair and pretty much Keratin is a protein that your hair loses while you're lifting the hair so pretty much if you're coming from dark black hair to like a, like a light medium blonde um, you want to make sure you're using products to put those nutrients back into the hair so this one I really like um, it's also paraben free uh, gluten free and it has no salts so the one product that I use at home and pretty much it's a daily strengthening conditioner Oh, thank you. She's my little Vanna White. <laughs> um, another thing I recommend to my clients is don't wash your hair every day. Um, I have very fine hair and I'm sure you've seen in my other videos that I've mentioned it's also damaged as well. So I wash my hair every second, third day if I can. I, I try to stretch it out. And um, I also recommend that uh, try to avoid tying your hair too much because that will create breakage as well and if you are thinking about coloring your hair or doing any chemical straightening or anything like that make sure um, you tell your stylist your hair history that way you can avoid more damage and some people um, their hair is not meant to be uh, chemically straightened or you know colored so just make sure you tell your stylist your hair history and you show them your how your real hair texture is um, when you're sitting at the chair. These um, tips help you out. If uh, you want to see more videos like this, please comment below and I'll be sure to get to them as soon as I can. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. And, um, and if you like these tips and tricks, please let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. And tag me on Instagram. Um, my Instagram is my name, Riva Giselle. And hi, hi. Me. And once you tag them, I will check them out. And I might even feature them in my next video because I love showing, you know, great results and happy clients and happy people. So please let me know how that goes. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.